In a tragic series of events in Wulilima, Professor Poti, a 27-year-old man from Dombole Fuad, committed a heinous act that shook his community. Professor met Sivongi a 27-year-old, in 2016 while she was employed as a domestic worker at a neighbor's home. They started dating and after a few weeks he convinced her to move in with him and she agreed. Professor never traditionally married her or introduced her to his family. And soon enough, their fairy tale turned sour and they began having domestic disputes. Professor would constantly lose his temper and would physically abuse his wife. The neighbors then alerted Professor's family, but despite interventions by family elders, their efforts to curb the abuse were unsuccessful. He even reportedly burnt her clothes and threatened to kill her. And in fear of her life, she confided in one of the village watch committee members, Elizabeth Maposa, who was five months pregnant, and showed her her bruises. Elizabeth encouraged and persuaded her to report him to the police if she wanted him to stop. Soon after telling Elizabeth, Professor beat Sibongile and left her tied to a tree in a bush and had to be freed by passers-by. She eventually filed a report against him at Lombodeyama police base and the police gave her a letter summoning her husband to the police station. She took the letter to her husband while in company of Elizabeth and Professor became extremely violent that she had to flee her home and sleep at Elizabeth's home. In the morning of August 27, 2016, Elizabeth's father encouraged his daughter to accompany Sibongile to report that he had become even more violent after seeing the police summon. After walking for about four kilometers, Professor intercepted them while armed with an axe and stuck pregnant Elizabeth on the left abdomen and head and then turned on his wife. He struggled with his wife but he overpowered her and stuck her on her head and both of the women died on the spot. This brutal killing was witnessed by Sibongile's eight-year-old daughter who ran as fast as she could when she saw her stepfather attacking the two women. She reported to the villagers and they rushed to the crime scene and found the two women in a pool of blood with Professor nowhere to be found. He was later discovered hanging from a tree about 10 kilometers away from where he had butchered the two women. He had committed suicide. The gravity of the situation was further compounded by the fact that Sibongile's family could not be located as she did not have a national identity card with her. The Puti family made public appeals to the Mflanga family to come forward so that they could hand over their daughter's dead body for proper farewell. Elizabeth's family demanded a compensation of seven head of cattle for the loss of life, a cow, a goat, 9,000 rand, 170 pula, and 1,100 US dollars to cater for the costs incurred during the funeral. The Putti family, however, refused to pay and claimed that they had not been the ones involved in the murder. This incident not only highlights the devastating impact of domestic violence, but also underscores the importance of community awareness and prevention in preventing such tragedies. The loss of lives, including that of an unborn child and the subsequent turmoil faced by the families involved, serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of unchecked aggression and the need for support systems to protect victims. May their souls continue to rest in eternal peace.